started this work, and this was October of 212, we didn't know that we'd get anything. Most of the studies that have approached conditions like this have analyzed tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, and often ended up with nothing. We've been working on this for six and a half years. Now we have a data set of a thousand patients that no one else in the world has, and we can begin to really figure out what's causing trigeminal neuralgia. That work is done. My colleagues and I are able to identify very exciting uh, candidate genes that uh, may predispose individuals to develop this disease. Once we know the genes, we know how to target them uh, by treatment. Understanding better the molecular biology, the molecular complexity of that nerve cell allows us to think now of things such as gene therapy, which 10 years ago would never have been considered as a possibility. Uh, the ability to get new genes and modify the properties of those cells is what is exciting. That's where the science is going. Our goal in the genetic research has been all along is to find a cure. Through the genetic work, we're beginning to discover what actually causes trigeminal neuralgia. And once we figure that out, we'll be able to then look at drugs that might work better than the current anticonvulsant, the anti-seizure medication that's used, or surgical procedures that might be more helpful and potentially even curative. We already know that stem cell therapy, gene therapy, is proven effective in other clinical conditions. Now that we better understand the disease process in trigeminal neuralgia, there's every reason to believe that those two approaches are gonna make a difference. We're not there yet, we're on our way. Uh, we need to continue and keep going, um, but we have a real uh, uh, path in sight uh, to advance these important stem cell treatments. We are now at a junction in time when we have at hand the right tools to find the cure. All we need is financial support. The more, the better. The more money we get, the more people we can put at work to continue and expand uh, the momentum. Uh, we know where to head. We know exactly what needs to be done. It's just a matter of finance. This is the first time in the history of the world that people are raising money to cure neuropathic pain. In the beginning, what we were doing is, was just a dream. We have a lot of passion and a lot of faith it could be done. But it's not just a dream anymore. This is a great time to invest because we can ask important questions for relatively small amounts of, of funding. And that all funding goes right to the genetic analysis. It doesn't go to the investigators. It goes just to actually doing the work. As fast as we can go, we'll get there. The time to do this research is now. The only thing that is missing is money. That's it. The more, more money we have, uh, the faster the research goes. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without the support of your foundation. We're excited and we can't do it without you. So thank you. 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 Thank you.